Welcome to the third and probably final video of this hook series. In this video, we're going to be going over the 2.0 hook. Out of the three hooks, this one is by far the hardest. So I'd highly recommend going back and watching episode 1 and 2 and making sure you have the 1.0 and the 1.5 hook down. However, even if you have those tricks mastered, this trick will still be really weird to try to get down and probably take quite a bit of time. With the other tricks, I put them at an 8 or 9 out of 10 difficulty. With this one, I'm just going to bump that to a 10. Expect difficulty. I'm going to give you some advice to make it a little bit easier, but expect it to be a weird, tough trick to learn. With all of that out of the way, let's get right into the tutorial. So just like I did in the previous videos, let's break this down into two parts. The whip and the hook. For this whip, what you want to do is get it over your wrist on your non-yo-yo hand, and your pointer finger on your yo-yo hand, towards the base, kind of towards your knuckle. The reason that you want the whip to go around your wrist is that when you do the hook, the string has plenty of space and separation so that it doesn't hit the wrong string. There are people that teach this trick that I've seen teach it with the pointer finger, but that, as I'm showing right now, is so much more difficult. Like, it's definitely possible, but it is just so much harder. I highly recommend just do it around your wrist. That'll make life easier. So now that you've got that whip down, let's see how to get the string to get over your non-yo-yo hand again. But what I'm doing is spinning my yo-yo hand around twice. Kind of like that. It's one big circle and then one much smaller circle. This part is really weird and kind of tough to see, so I'm going to slow it down a little bit and see if it can pick up nicely in slow motion. What you're basically doing is whipping the string again once it gets to your yo-yo hand pointer finger. It just gives it a little bit more momentum and lets the string keep carrying. Though I will say with this part, expect quite a bit of difficulty. It's a really weird element to try to get down, and I wouldn't even say try to land the trick yet. Just try to get a loop to come over your uh, non-yo-yo hand pointer finger. So after this point, it's just trying to figure out how to get the string to whip into the gap of the yo-yo. My first tip is very similar to landing the 1.5 hook. Try to keep your hand very close to the yo-yo and your hands quite close together. I keep my hands approximately five to six inches apart. Second, this trick is a lot easier if you keep your yo-yo hand slightly above your non-yo-yo hand. I don't know why this is and it doesn't really apply to any of the other hooks that I've learned, but if you keep your, no, your yo-yo hand slightly angled above, it's easier to land. I wouldn't recommend doing that long term, but just to practice it to get the feel of it, I would recommend doing something like that. Just like with every other hook, make sure both strings on the loop are coming around your non-yo-yo hand. I would also recommend using your non-yo-yo hand to help give the string a bit of momentum, or whip really hard, because you need a lot of force to get the string to go around that many times. This is one of those tricks that's quite difficult to teach because it works slightly differently for everybody. So really it is just repetition, just getting it figured out for yourself. These few tips should be able to help that journey get a little bit faster, but it's not going to be an easy trick to learn. Just remember the big piece of advice, hands closer together, spin yo-yo hand twice, and keep your yo-yo hand slightly angled above your non-yo-yo hand. With all of those combined, you should be able to land a 2.0 hook. Remember, this trick is very difficult. If you're not even landing it within a week, like, that's okay. This trick took me over a month to land consistently. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. I'm always here to try to help you out. If you're enjoying this content, please consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.